E and radio. So here's what we've got coming up right next. That's right. The Girls' Day School Trust, a group which represents 25 girls' schools across the country, have recently updated their trans admissions policy in what they say is an attempt to uh, protect their school's status as a single-sex institution. The Trust decided that transgender girls will not be given admission. Well, the move follows a broader debate about the inclusion of transgender people in women's spaces and whether... The inclusion of trans-identified women infringes on the right to biological women and their right to single-sex spaces, as set out in the 2010 Equality Act. Well, Kelly J. Keane is a women's rights activist and founder of Standing for Women, a campaign uh, in favour, or, or rather... Uh, what they describe as to protect biological women and single-sex spaces. Welcome to the programme. Um, first of all, do you see how some people could see a blanket policy with no exceptions for particular individuals seems to be a bit hasty here? There's no point having a single-sex school if you include both sexes. So blanket, uh, I don't really see how else it could operate. You just, no boys in girls' schools, full stop. Mm. The, 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 me and Tom spoke about this about an hour and a half ago, and we had quite a fiery, very civil, but a fiery debate on it, because I, I suppose that the, what we were trying to get at is how do you define women? I think the question mm. you posed to me was, well, what do you mean by when you say a biological woman, for mm. example? And it's those fundamental questions, I feel, that people sort of have arguments about all of the time. Do you understand why, you know, somebody like who, who might share Tom's views has an issue with saying things like biological man who identifies as a woman and thinks we should just say trans woman? I think we should just say man. Uh, I think that's a perfect descriptor for people in this country who are or all over the world who are adult human males. They are men. Uh, I think the difficulty, especially for someone like Tom, is he seems to think that women are just men without penises um, and we're not. We're actually a complete sex class and biological thing, all of our own. Uh, we are not defined against what a man is. We are women. Uh, and if we stopped using silly language like trans women, trans identified males, male bodied, all these euphemistic terms for men uh, and women, we'd have a much more straightforward conversation. Are boys allowed in girls schools? No. When you start saying things like trans girls, which frankly, I think transitioning of children is a profound child abuse, uh, to lie to little boys and little girls and tell them that they'll grow up to be opposite the opposite sex is frankly preposterous and abusive um, in, in the most uh, profound manner. To tell you, that you not, sort of lie... You not think that, that the boys... most profound and abusive thing is you talking to trans people, to trans women, and calling them men. It's the most extraordinary no. and, quite frankly, rude position to take, and one that's held well, I don't really a care very small or not it's minority rude, Tom. of people, because the vast majority of people are uh, very open and generous and accepting. It's, it's a very small minority no, they're not. who would choose to say no, they're not. that trans That's absolutely not true. Men, Let's be very clear. To Let's be very clear. When it comes to vulnerable people, so when you, if you ask a 60-year-old man in this country, do you want a man who calls himself a woman to go to your mother's home and do the cleaning when she's in the home on her own, he'll say no. Do you want a man to be but in a hospital you're ward with a, a man? man that's an extraordinary position no. to be taking. It's one that most people in no, this country would no. find quite abhorrent. That's absolutely not true. I don't know where you get your information. Perhaps you ought to spend some time off Twitter. Perhaps but you ought to spend some time looking country, at data and British most polling adults, if, I could, polls. if you could allow me to finish my sentence, that would be great. Most adults in this country are perfectly aware of what a man and a woman is. Now, some people may afford uh, people who call themselves trans the um, polite uh, way or what they might call polite or kindness and refer to them by their chosen names and by uh, their chosen pronouns. People may do that as a courtesy, but we are so far beyond what is courteous. What started off as courtesy and kindness has led to an absolute decimation of women's rights. I can only assume that you don't have any trans friends, that you've never met anyone who is trans. Well, I'm not if you were to walk, don't know any women. If you, were to walk, if you were to walk past someone in the street who was trans, how on earth would you be able to tell? You would, of course, refer to them Do you honestly think that most women don't recognise men? 
Do you honestly think the human race has got this far without recognising biological sex? We do it in a matter You're, of seconds. What do seconds. you mean by biological sex? I don't check you for your chromosomes. I look at you <laughs> and see you as a woman. You totally well if know I were to that see I'm someone female, walking down the street who had secondary me, sex ridiculous. characteristics of a female, I would say uh, they were female. Uh, uh, okay, well, look, let's go. Let's go back to. Obviously, this is this is a heated conversation, and that this sort of exemplifies the, the sorts of conversations people are always having about this issue. And um, let me just ask you this. What do you make of this idea? Because um, I believe, actually, Tom, you, you call trans people one of the most vulnerable groups um, mm. in, in this country. I'm assuming that's something you stand by. Tom and people who take his view would say, actually, a lot of these people are very vulnerable. And all they're saying is to, um, you know, we want some rights. We want some access. What do you make of mm. that? Do you consider trans people to be a, one of the most vulnerable groups? Well, for a start, there's more women who are victims of sexual assault than there are men that call themselves women. So I think when we talk about vulnerability in spaces, we always have to centre those women. Uh, frankly, when I hear uh, people like Tom talking about erasing the boundaries of biological girls and women, a big red flag shoot off in my head. And I'm wondering whether he's ever really considered an 11, 12, 13 year old girl going through puberty and the embarrassment of that and the really unique way that girls in particular change through puberty. And as a mother of four, I can tell you the striking difference between the sexes is no further apparent than in puberty. So I think we have to be really careful when we are waxing lyrical, trying to score woke points uh, by erasing the boundaries of girls. We have an epidemic of sexual assault in our schools. Half of the girls report sexual assault, or sexual harassment, sorry, in schools, and the rest of them, it's so frequent, they don't even bother. How could we possibly further um, infringe upon these girls' boundaries? It's, abs it's frankly just grotesque. Well, I have, to, I have to say, well, I'm afraid we've run out of time on that interview, I'm being told, but Kelly, Jay Keane, thank you for your forthright Thank views you. there, I have to say, some of, some of which were fairly provocative. Um, the, to some, I, to I, some. I do find it extraordinary that mm. we're saying that an average girl going through puberty has a more traumatic experience than mm. someone going through um, the, 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 the anguish of, of realising that they're transgender. I think that that's a... That's I don't think it's the trauma, but it's certainly... I think her, her point was the fact that it's a profound biological um, transformation, so to speak, the puberty, would, would you, and it's not something to, to be taken lightly. Would you men in that, in that way? I think that was needlessly provocative and quite frankly rude. I'm afraid that's we've run up we're running to a